Hello and welcome to my channel, Crochet and Copy. My name is Judy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful handbag. Let's get started. So in this tutorial, all I'm going to show you is how to make the bag and how to attach the bag handle. This way it makes the bag stands out, looks beautiful. And also too, you don't have to do all the other work that goes into making a bag handle. Okay. As I did these other bags, but just want to let you know also too so the next tutorial and i'm going to put that in the description below i would actually show you how to add the snaps on so i back close up nice and also how to line the bag so that's the next tutorial but this tutorial is just going to show you how to make the bag so before we get started i just want to show the measurement of her bag from this side to that side is like eight and a half inches. And then from the top to the bottom, seven inches. And of course that's without the bag handles. Just wanna make sure you get that measurement. These are supplies you're gonna be using to make a beautiful handbag. I'll go over them with you. The yarn we're using is the Red Heart. It's the Super Saver Jumbo. Of course, we don't need all of it to complete our bag. It's the medium four, 100% acrylic, and the color is the cherry red. So that's our yarn. And this is gonna be our bag handle. Yeah, so pretty, so pretty. And we're gonna be using two of our keychain snaps right there, you see? So we need two of those. I put that information in the description below regarding the size. And the hook is the US H8. It's the 5.00 millimeter. You need a yarn needle and lastly our scissors. And that's it to make our bag. So let's get started. So to start off, we're going to chain 26 to get started. What we're going to do is a slip knot stitch. This is how I do my slip knot stitch. Feel free to do it the way you're comfortable with. I take the yarn, drape it over my two fingers, let it fall to the back, take my hook, and I pull up a loop of yarn and have a little knot and tighten it against my hook. And that's it. So now we're going to chain and a chain is yarn over your hook and pull through. Yarn over your hook and pull through. Yarn over your hook and pull through. So that's how you do a chain. So you're going to do that for 26 times. We already did three. So when you complete doing the 26, I'll meet you there. So this is how we look when we completed doing our 26 chain. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a half double in the second chain from our hook. The first chain is right here and the next one will be right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the back of our chain to do that. Okay. We're not going to use the going through the front. So use the little bumps in the back. Okay. So now the back. And it's not the first one, but the second one. So a half double is yarn over. And then you go into that back part of her chain and pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull across the all three of them at the same time. And that's the half double crochet. So I'll show you again, yarn over, go into that chain, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull across all three of them at the same time. Again, a half double, yarn over, go into that chain, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, to complete it, pull across all three of them at the same time. So that's the half double. So you're going to do that half double till you get to the end of the row. And when you get there, I'll show you what to do next. So by completing that, we did row one and then you have 25 stitches. We're going to chain one and turn our work. So now to start row two, we're going to put one single crochet into the first two stitches. So I'll show you how to do the single crochet and it, the first two stitches are right here. So what you're going to do is go into that stitch, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull across those two loops and that's it. So I'll show you again. That's one because it's the next one. Go into that stitch, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over to complete it, and pull across those two. So that's it. That's the start of row two. 
Now the next stitch we're going to do is going to be the bobble stitch. A bobble stitch is similar to an incomplete double crochet. You're going to yarn over before you go into that stitch and you're going to pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull off across the first two loops. Okay, we're going to do this till we get six loops remaining on our hook. So I'll show you, yarn over, go back down, pull up another loop, and then yarn over and pull across the first two loops. So we have three. So now back down. Before you go back down, yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull across the first two loops. We have four loops now on our hook. Yarn over, back down into that same stitch, pull up another loop, and then yarn over, pull across the first two loops. Now you have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Yarn over, go back down, pull up another loop, and then yarn over, pull across the first two loops. So you have now one, two, three, four, five, six loops on your hook. So now when we have those six, we're going to yarn over and pull across all of them at the same time. And that's it. That's our bobble stitch. And for the next three stitches, we're going to do one single crochet. Again, the single crochet is go into that stitch, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, and you're going to pull across those two loops. So that's the single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over to complete it, pull across. One more, go into that stitch, pull up a loop of yarn, yarn over, pull across. So that's the pattern that we're going to be doing for row two. So I'll show you the pattern one more time and then you're going to do that till you get to the last two stitches and then I'll show you what to do. So since we did those three single crochet, now we're going to do the bobble stitch. So the bobble stitches, yarn over, go into that stitch. We're going to do this five times, okay, to get the six loops on our hook and pull across, yarn over, back down, so that's two and this will be three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So when you do that for five times, that makes you get your six loops on your hook. And that's what we need for a bobble stitch. And just yarn over and pull across all of them. And now remember, it's in the next three stitches, you're going to put one single crochet. And the single crochet is just yarn over, go into that stitch, and then pull up a loop. And there you go to complete it. Go into that stitch, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull across, one more. And then go into that stitch, pull up loop, yarn over, pull across. That's the pattern you're going to do. So the next stitch right here would be your bobble and then the following three stitches will be regular single crochet. And when we finish row two, you remember you're going to have two stitches remaining and I'm going to show you what to do next, but just wanted to show you what it looks like so far. It's our bobble stitch. Okay, so we made it to the last two stitches that are right here to the end of our row. So what we're going to do is just do one single crochet into those last two stitches. And that's it to complete row two. Now for row three, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. And now we're going to do in each stitch, we're going to put one half double crochet, half double crochet again is yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook and yarn over and pull across. So you're going to do that till you get to the end of the row and I'll show you what to do next. How we look when we completed row three with the half double crochet and we get a 25 half double crochet at the end of the row. So now for row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row four, for the first one, two, three, four stitches, all you're going to do is do one single crochet. And single crochet, just go into that stitch, 
pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull across two three and this will be our last one four this is the pattern now for row four we're going to bobble stitch in the next stitch and again the bobble stitch you have to yarn over and pull up loops and take two off five times remember so this will be our first one two three four five and that will give you your six loops on your hook one two three four five six and then yarn over pull across all six and then again like we did for row two in the following three stitches you're going to put one single crochet so that's one two three so follow that pattern again to get to the last four stitches and i'll meet you there so the next stitch will be the bobble stitch and the following three will be the single crochet so keep that pattern and i'll meet you when you at the last four stitches so now we add our last four stitches so one two three and this last one right here we're going to put one single crochet and that will complete row four this will be our third one and the last one is right here and that's the complete row four so you're going to chain one turn your work so row five what we're going to do now is what we did for row three and that's just one half double crochet in in each of our stitches we're going to put okay so at the completion of the row you're going to have your 25 stitches so in each stitch right up here and here make sure you put one half double crochet when you finish that i meet you at the end of the row so that's the completion of row five and we have our 25 stitches now to start row six you're going to chain one turn our work and now what we're going to do is the same thing that we did for row two and the pattern we're going to start off with is for the first two stitches we're just going to do a single crochet and then the next stitch we will do our bobble stitch so the next stitch will be our bobble stitch and remember to do the bobble stitch you yarn over and you go into that stitch pull up a loop and then you have those first two loops we're going to yarn over and take off so you're going to follow that same pattern five times in order for us to get our six loops in our hook so that's one two three four one more time and now we have one two three four five six loops in our hook yarn over pull across so the next three stitches we're going to do one single crochet and that's it so now you're going to do the bobble stitch in the next stitch and the following three you'll put one single crochet so that's the pattern you're going to do to you get the, to the last two stitches and then the last two stitches you're going to do one single crochet and you're going to chain to start the new row and turn your work and this is the pattern we're going to be using so then for row seven what you're going to do is the repeat of that row is going to be the row that you just do one half double crochet into each stitch across till you complete it and that will give you a 25 stitches you're going to chain one and turn your work and start row eight starting off row eight you're going to follow the pattern we did for row four and row four is the first four stitches we're going to do one single crochet and then you do the bobble stitch and the following three stitches you would do 
a single crochet. And that's the pattern we're going to use because we want to make our, our little bubble stitch. They get a little staggered a little bit. They're not clumped up together. I'm not going to show you the rest of the rows that we're going to do because we're going to work up all the way to row 43. And when we get to row 43, it's going to be the row that you repeat. And that's row 3. And row 3 is just... For each stitch across, you're going to put one half double crochet. So keep on following the same pattern that we did. So you're going to repeat rows 3, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 3. So the same thing. So you could get the design of the bobble stitch. They're a little staggered. They're not right on top of each other. So meet me at row 43. Keep a track. Jot down where you're at so you can meet me there. And remember, repeat these four rows, all right? So keep on working with that. So now we made it up to all the way up to row 43. And this is how we look. And that's the row that we did with the one half double crochet across. And we have our 25 stitches. So now that's it. We're going to chain one and... We're going to pull up a nice little tail because we're going to tuck it in. I'm going to grab my scissors and cut it off and I'll show you how to tuck it in. So I attach my yarn needle and I'm just going to show you this one time how to tuck it in. And then for the others, when we need to tuck it in, you go ahead and use the same method. Okay. So we're going to do the to the back of our work and we're just going to weave it in as we go. When we tuck it in, we don't want our stitches to show or to come out to the front, okay? So that's how we look when we tucked it in. So go ahead and tuck in the other tail from our starting part. So before we start sewing up the sides of our bag, I'm going to show you how to fold it. And just to let you know, this is will be considered the wrong side of our bag, the inside of our bag. Although when we started to do our crochet work, we this will be considered the right side of our work because our design of our little bobble stitch came out on the wrong side of our work. If that's not too confusing for you. But anyway, so this will be the inside of our bag. You take it and you fold it almost halfway. And then just measure it and then you fold that on top and that's how we're going to sew it and what i'm going to do is put a little stitch marker here and here because we're going to sew it inside it, the wrong side of our work okay so go ahead and flip your bag now on the wrong side because we're going to sew it there and of course we put a little stitch marker so it just help us show us where to stop when we're going to sew because we're not going to sew up the whole side of the bag because this is what we're going to use to flip over and go ahead and cut off a new piece of yarn because we're going to start sewing up the edge you want to cut off a new piece of yarn about 25 to 27 inches so now i cut off my yarn and then my yarn needle is attached i just want to show you something Oh, for us to anchor it, this is what I saw and I like this, so I use it. You take the yarn, like how we're doing, we're starting our work, a slip knot stitch. So just drape it over my fingers, get my yarn, pull it through. And we just want to tighten against the two right here, our yarn, but don't close up the hole. I'll show you why. Okay, so we're going to start sewing. And we're going to start on the bottom of our back. And of course, I'm going to show you how to do one side. Go ahead and do the other side the exact same way. So we're just going to start because we want to make sure. And right here, see our slip knots right here. And we're going to just put the our yarn through it. And we're going to pull to anchor it. And that's it. I thought that was so cool. Anchor it there. So now we're just going to sew up the edge of it, okay? And to do that, all we're going to do is just go through 
the thickness of our bag. And that's it. That's how we're going to start sewing it up. So I made it to the end. So our last stitch I'm going to do, I'm just, before I pull it through, I just take my yarn and then with my needle and just give it another anchor to secure it. Now we're going to start weave it inside. And we're going to hide our tail. So we finished sewing up our edge of our bag and we have our flap open. And of course, you're going to go ahead and tuck in all your um, ends that you need. And then we're going to turn it inside out. So we face in our right side and then I'll show you what to do next. So we flipped our bag inside out. Now we're on the right side. And that's how we look. So now we're going to start attaching our bag handle. So we're going to take our keychain snap, see, the round keychain snap, and we're going to just attach it right to the side. Isn't it lovely? I think it's so cute. It's so cute. Makes it looks nice. So now we're going to attach it or our bag handle to our little keychain snaps that we put on and that will be it. So how lovely is that? I think it came out pretty nice and this is the inside of our bag. How we look. I think the handles make it look so cute, so cute. That's it. We're all completed. As I mentioned previously, this tutorial is just to show you how to make the bag and how to add on the handles to our bag. The next tutorial, I'll show you how to add on the snaps to close it up and how to line the bag to make it nice and secure. So look out for that tutorial. I'm going to add all of that in the description below as I mentioned. So thank you. Bye-bye.